Okay. <laughs> guys, and welcome to another blow dump episode. Okay, so this morning I was fishing for bass and uh, back now in, uh, in Claim Rock, quickly went back to George and then I picked up Francois and Wilco met us here. So you all know Francois, he's been on a couple of episodes. Gunter is going to catch a grunter today. So uh, you've all seen Francois, he's been on um, diving episodes, he's been on deep sea episodes where we caught cop at Gouritz and Wilson Stolba as well. No, you didn't go with the soul boy. No, okay. So yeah, go check out that episode where we caught all um, very, very nice fish that we caught. And this morning's episode where we caught the, the bass. I did manage to catch a couple of bass. That was the first time for me. Um, but yeah, now at Kleinbrak, in this episode. Oh, before we go to in this episode. Um, please guys, subscribe. You are, guys are making a huge difference on the algorithm. Um, we are currently only at 25% of our viewers are subscribed. If you want to the 75%, has not subscribed please 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 subscribe guys leave a comment and hit that like button you guys are really making a huge difference okay in this episode in the previous episode that we were here at Clambra, we managed to catch that very nice grunter so we are back to catch a couple more but i might try and catch a cop today as well so first gonna get some bait we're gonna go up the river again to go and collect some pink prawns and i want to try and get some mud prawns as well there's a little bank that i know that i can get mud prawns up there so i'm going to try and get some mud prawns as well then i'm going to show you how we rig up what bait we use what hooks we use how we drift and everything in between and then uh, hopefully i can show you a cop and a grunter okay so let's get started with everything <laughs> first stop um, and as you can see so many prawn holes over here pink prawn so on this side pink prawn that side got mud prawn on that side i've got mud prawn i'm gonna try and see if we can find some pink prawn or mud prawn the wind has picked up the wind is a little bit stronger than i anticipated but it's also fine um we'll manage that so um yeah we're gonna we're gonna get some prawns now and then we're gonna drift further along um we just spoke to some other some of the guys that came off with kayaks and uh, they managed one small grunter but not on pink prawns they managed on uh, top water here so i'm gonna try and get some prawns first uh we're using the lock prawn floating prawn mate again brilliant product i love this thing um yeah it's got a available at extreme fishing where i buy all my tackle like you can see it's got um, put the prawns in there and you let it float next to you 
um, it's an instrument when you're bumping, so yeah, I'm gonna get some prawns quickly. Okay, so we've got enough prawns here. Uh, we'll divide them now between the three kayaks. And there's some more guys there. They just missed a grunter. They said uh, they watched the previous video and then they come, came out and tried it. And then uh, they just missed, missed a, a grunter just now. I said around about two kilogram grunter as he was, he wanted to pick it up into the boat. He uh, just missed it. So obviously <laughs> it's working. <laughs> There's a couple more kayaks. There's another kayak over there. <laughs> There's two kayaks here. So obviously a lot of people watched the previous video and everybody came down um, this side to come and try and get grunters on the kayaks. But we are also here and we're also going to try. So now, um, yeah, we're going to rig up. Okay, so I'm going to show you what we use again. Big, big, big swivel. No sliding sinker or anything. So I'm just going to try with the sliding sinker. Around about a 70 to 90 centimeter on a little oh, let me get it out there first on a little 2-0 circle look and I'm sure I'll show you now how I bait up on that that is a 100g loose track on the circle look with a seven foot gully master rod and that's the same stuff that I use to catch my cop and grunters when I'm estuary fishing and then uh, as I said we use the the lock little um, bait bucket so this one I'm gonna put water in now oh. And then I'm going to put my floating bucket in this one. Oopa! Here's my floating bucket inside there. You can see that water's coming through there. Prawns. Just get this nice in there. There we go. Then I'm going to take some prawns. Where's my mud prawns? I was fighting these mud prawns. I want to get my mud prawns. There's a couple of mud prawns for me. Um, let's see if this I want to try a mud prawn and see if it makes a difference the mud prawns versus your pink prawns um, I don't think it will make a huge difference but um, there's another mud prawn in there that one's a little bit too small oh there's a nice size mud prawn okay so I'm going to put on one mud prawn and one pink prawn and see if it makes a difference whether I'm using mud prawns or pink prawns let's see and then I'll uh, tell you the results okay so obviously they are drifting on that side where I caught the grunter last time and that's where they just lost one but I think I'm gonna drift, drift the other way around because it's very shallow at the moment there uh, so I think I'm gonna drift the other way around and see if we can get something and then we're gonna get up against the wind a long way up against the wind and then we're gonna drift down with the wind again um, it's gonna be a little bit of a difficult row to get there but we'll manage So I said I'll show you how I rig up again, like in the previous video. Okay, so what I do is take a nice big, let's go, nice big pink prawn. Oh, look at that claw. Okay, and you go in at the tail all the way through. Make sure that you don't get bitten by the claw eh, eh, eh. all the way through out in the chest area comes out and you just make sure that it goes onto the line like that and there is your prawn beautiful prawn bait um, for a grunter and now you just let it uh, drift round about 10 to 15 meters behind the kayak and uh, oh that's fine okay and then hopefully I can show you a grunter or two I'm gonna go into the side yeah just quickly get a couple more turns out here
Okay, and remember, nice loose drag. Oh, had a couple of bites there. I just wanna get this guy up to turn a little bit this way. Oh, the wind is a little bit too strong for what we want to do. But that bait has already been taken off. Ah, oh, gonna have to reset that bait. I just had the bait in and it's already off. Okay. Let's put it on. I'm gonna leave that one in there and I'm gonna use the other rod quickly. Try and get a bait in with the other one. Maybe there's a little piece of bait left on that one. On this one, I'm gonna go with uh, mud prawns. See if that makes a difference. Same same thing, mud prawns through the tail. Mud prawns is just a little bit of, of a harder bait. Here you can see, same thing. Mud prawns, yeah. Mud prawns through the, through the middle. Eta, eta. The line that I'm using is around about a 10 kilogram line. So it's a nice and light line. I'm using very light tackle, 5.5. Um, the leader line for the hook is a 5.5 Maxima Ultra, Ultra Green. And I always use my grunters when I'm catching grunters. That is my preferred leader line, hook line, for, um, for, to get, for catching grunters. The grunter doesn't have teeth in his mouth, so you can actually use a nice light line to catch grunters. <laughs> okay. okay, nice loose track. Let's get the bait on this one again, because this bait is definitely off. Okay, pink prawn versus mud prawn. Let's see who wins. Oh, fish on! Fish on! Oh, nice fish taking line. On the first drift. Oh, very nice. Oh, is it coming in now? It's swimming in. Where is it now? It's coming towards me. Oh, it sucks. Uh, it's coming towards me here. Uh, oh, my word. I almost kicked the whole bucket. Of prawn over. <laughs> okay, fish on. Let's see what's going on here. It's gonna, if it's a grunt, it should start turning away now. Oh, what is this? What is it? Oh, there we go. A little bit of a fight there. Oh, grunter. What is it? Oh, it's a baby grunter. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, so there we go. First little grunter on the mud prawn. Okay, on the mud prawn. Little baby grunter there. Right there in the corner of the mouth. Mud prawns. Okay, and off he goes. Nice, first grunter for the day. Okay, so in the previous episode we were here very, very early. It is actually the best time for grunter fishing. But in this episode, we are, it's around about, uh, what's the time now? It's around about four now. So they should be starting to, to feed. They normally like it uh, just before sunset and uh, just before sun, uh, just after sunrise, that is their feeding time. So we are all here in the right time and hopefully this wind will die down a little bit, give us a little bit of a better chance. But otherwise we'll just go way, way, way upstream, uh, downstream and drift with the wind. Um, but yeah, at the moment, a hey, couple of bumps there. At the moment it looks like um, the guys on the other side have managed to, to catch one. They didn't land it, but they've had, uh, they've, they did catch one, so maybe we're lucky enough to catch one as well. Oh, just had a very nice bite.
ooh, 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 ooh. on the other rod this time. Ooh, no, I've got a double up here. Oh, fish is on, yeah. Ah, feels like a little grunter again. Um, it's on the. Um, Here's a right. I just think it hooked the line. Oh, it's a little strippy. Oh, there we go. A little stomping you see. On the mud prawns again. Okay, so that's a little stump nose. In. Uh, off she goes. Again on the mud prawns. Hmm. Two no for the mud prawns. Let's put another mud prawn on then. So I've got a couple of pegs here, so what I'm doing is I'm freeze putting it so that he doesn't realize it's on a line to see if I can pick him up, but it's a little pecker. I don't think it's a big fish. No, he's dropped the bait now. Yeah, I dropped it. Wasn't a big fish. Oh, no, it off now. I think it's on. It's not really big. Oh, it's on again. On the pink prawns this time, but it's very small. There we go. What is it? Another little stump nose. Oh no, it's a little grunter. Beautiful small little grunter. Okay, look at that. Beautiful small little grunter. There we go. Another, hey, off he goes. <laughs> nice, uh, it's my second grunter. Two grunters and a little stump. So it's two one to the mud prawn at the moment, but I only got one mud prawn left. <laughs> so let's take you, see if we can make it three one. I was trying to get mud prawns today, and this is a very small mud prawn, so I'll be surprised if a big grunter takes it but you never know okay guys in the last episode i explained to you about the barometric air pressure um, and when i decide to fish so um today again the barometric pressure was around about 1017 this morning and it is dropping uh, to 1013 which is still all right and then sometimes during that drop the fish will feed so what i'm always looking for is i'm, I'm definitely don't fish anything above 1020 and i definitely don't fish anything below 1010 um, so that's my my two thing any anything between that um that there's a, 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 a like it stays the same for a couple of days and it's fine so the previous two days it was 2017 2018 which is ideal fishing condition and then it started to drop so sometimes as soon as the uh, air pressure does drop the fish sometimes does go on a on a little bit of a feeding frenzy on that side oh no 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 that's a big take um I think that little fish is on but as i was explaining um, so there was a, there is a, a today the air pressure is dropping, so that's why I decided I'm going to come and have a look if I can uh, maybe catch one or two grunters. And I've actually, uh, I've caught two grunters and I've caught that one little stump nose and I think there's something on here again, so I'm just quickly going to sort out this. Okay guys, so I just have a very, very, very long row and I'm so, so tired now, but for those of you who know Slanebrook, I'm here at the, at the boat slip, so I went all the way from the split there at, uh, what's the place called, Riverside, there, and I came all the way back down here, so this opens up a couple of opportunities for me, it's low tide now, uh, it's just started to turn, uh, just want to get this kayak's nose pointing out of the way, the tide's just starting to turn, so I want to fish the bottom part of the, the, the estuary now, um, with uh, with this with the low tide and the wind so i'm gonna have a very nice drift now all the way back to the bucky so um yeah i want to see if there's this opens up the opportunity for cop because we're going to be drifting through a couple of deeper holes and i'm still going to be using 
that pink prawns my mud prawns unfortunately are done but i think the mud prawns won the battle today um so yeah let's hope that there's a couple of bigger fish because we did manage to catch those couple of smaller fish um a small grunters but this this area has always been um my main target area but yeah, uh, because it's low tide now, I decided to come all the way down. <laughs> Francia, I told Francia and Wilco, this is my plan. And they said, no, 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 that's a good plan. So we'll see if they also head this way. But um, you can see the water is a lot bluer here and a lot saltier as well. If you taste the water, it's a lot bluer and a lot saltier. It's not blue, it's, it's that greenish brown, but um, it's not brown like it was way up, up the river. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna see if I can maybe if I'm lucky I might catch one of those younger cob on on this but um, I should be able to catch a couple more grunters oh already a take there so I used to fish this area a lot um, so I know the area quite well where the holes are and where the flat banks are and I've actually caught by two biggest grunter I've ever caught a five and a six kilogram I've both caught in in this area here at the bottom and I've caught a couple of cob here as well so this is a very good area to fish on especially on low tide when the mouth is open it's a very good area to fish it's a beautiful fish catch it Francois <laughs> Francois just caught a barbel. <laughs> He's getting some knocks there. Oi. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> okay, and on that note, while Francois is trying to catch his barbel, it turned out to an absolutely beautiful evening but on that note i'm gonna say goodbye and end this episode um it is saturday today and next week friday we've got extremes fishings uh all night fishing comp so if you haven't had your ticket if you haven't gotten your ticket go buy it from extreme fishing in george uh it's from vetsant all the way to plate if i remember correctly Okay, I am going to be fishing nice enough for some cop. Unfortunately, I don't. I can't go all the way to Vitsan. I would have loved to go to Vitsan. I think Vitsan is going to be on fire this weekend. It is spring tide on Wednesday, Thursday, it's spring. So it's going to be just on spring or after spring. But um, I will have to make do with Nisna. Um So I'll be driving Friday afternoon. I'm going to Nisna and then I'll be fishing there to, during the night and then Saturday morning coming back. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed, please guys subscribe. And uh, then you will get a notification on the next ep episode. So yeah, hope to see you with some cop next week.